Hi guys, so I have a doctor's appointment that I'm getting ready to go to, but my car has to heat up first because it is viciously cold. And uh, so I thought I would get on here and talk about what it was like traveling, excuse me, to Mexico uh, during the pandemic. So when we booked it, things were opening up. Um, but you did have to have your vaccinations. Uh, sorry, that's a lie. Um, to go to Mexico, you don't have to have your vaccinations. Um, so, but I mean, we did, we were worried that they're going to switch up the rules as far as Alexis goes because she had just got her first vax, um, but they didn't. So, anyway. As it was getting closer and closer to when we were getting ready to leave for Mexico, um, numbers started shooting up again, like record numbers that we've never had here in Nova Scotia before. And we were like, oh, this is not looking good. Like, you know, like they're getting ready to shut everything down again. So we were getting quite concerned about whether or not we're going to go. Now, I figured, I said, I always said, we're going to get there and we're going to get back just in time before they shut everything down again, which is what happened. So, um, so yeah, so we got out fine. Going through the airport to get to Mexico was exactly the same as it, it well, always was. Uh, never had an issue, just straightforward. Um, now, once we got to Mexico, everything was pretty much like it is here, you know, like you have to wear your mask inside. Um, all that stuff so that was all normal we got to the resort again everything's super normal now you do have to make you we had to get a PCR test done 72 hours before we were to return back to Canada so um, we went to do that now when we got there 72 hours before they told us we were too early that we had to come back the next day because they go by days not hours didn't really make any sense to us. We were like, okay, that's fine. And the test, the PCR test was $90 US. Um, so in which you could pay credit card, cash. It said debit, but my friend tried to use debit, didn't work. Um, but yeah, so we did that. Now, doing it the time that they told us, and they said, you will get your results between 10 and 12 o'clock the night before we were to leave. So we were coming home on the 1st, so New Year's Eve we would get the email uh, between 10 and 12 that night, which we were super nervous about because, I mean, if something were to go wrong or your test didn't come back, it's really like you don't have much time to get things sorted out because we had to leave in the morning to get on, you know, check out, get on our bus, head back to the airport. So, that part was pretty um we were pretty anxious about that uh the three of us so we and we didn't get our test between 10 and 12. i'm not sure exactly when the test did come in because it comes in through email but um i was up throughout the night to check on it and when i was up at 3 30 in the morning we had our email in and we were all negative so we were good to go as was our friend um that came with us he was also negative so that was wonderful um coming back still was pretty straightforward the biggest part was that and now you do have to have the arrive can app downloaded you have to upload all your vaccines onto the can uh, arrive can app and then once you get your test results you upload those also to the arrive can and there was is there another site I guess you just go into that. So when we went to get our boarding passes, you have to show your negative PCR test in order to get on the plane. No issue there. Show it, go through. Um, do we have to show it a couple times? I think there's twice, maybe two different people that we had to show the PCR test to. And then when we landed in Canada, now, um, I'm gonna start driving, so, while I talk to you. Um, while what we don't, what we thought was 
when we got to Canada as well that we would have to have another COVID test done, the three of us. Um, so <clears throat> that part was confusing because when we arrived, it was like, do you have, um, did you fill out these forms? Da, 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 da. And then nothing was really making sense because it was like, well, it says you don't register until you get this kit, blah, blah, blah. It was kind of confusing. So once we got to customs in Canada, um, they told us there that it's basically you're going to get a sticker on the back of your passport. And depending on the color of that sticker is whether or not you get another um, COVID test. So and luck of the draw, Alexis, I think I've already said this and I showed in the vlog previous. Um, she got the luck of the draw and she had to get another COVID test. So she got tested right there and which meant that she had to isolate for 10 days and she had to do a second test on the day eight, but all her tests come back negative. Um, and that was it. We did not have to quarantine because we weren't selected and we had a negative test. Um, so only Alexis had to quarantine and luckily she didn't have school. Everything's online. Um, right now still so um, yeah that was pretty much it it was very easy very straightforward we were pretty anxious about it when we first were leaving just because we didn't know what to expect but it was all like I said it was pretty straightforward and very easy the only thing was like I said waiting for our PCR test to come back and we've heard stories where people have gotten negative tests where it seems like the resort or the people doing it um, are kind of setting up stuff to to bring in more. I don't know. I don't know if any of that is true because the people that we were, and it was all on the resort, um, were very professional. I can't see how people are trying to give out fake positive tests, if that makes any sense. But... Um, we didn't like that it was right to the last second before we knew what our results were. That made it the last night there pretty kind of tense or, you know, like we were anxious. Couldn't really let loose that last night. But um, overall, definitely worth it. Um, I'm glad we got to go. And like I said, when we got back, pretty much everything shutting down. And they did cancel a bunch of flights to down south because of the, um, the virus. So we got very lucky. But that was our... That was our experience. Great vacation and wasn't a lot of, as long as you're, I said to, this is going on forever now, um, the only other thing was that I said if somebody, like an older person, elderly people that maybe aren't so up to date with like technology or smartphones and stuff like that would have a hell of a time, I think, because everything, not that you can print it off, you can go and, but, I mean, we do everything on our phones. We upload it to our phones. We download everything. You know, we're showing things that way. So I think it would be a lot harder if somebody wasn't, if didn't didn't have the technology or know how to deal with the technology that we do with smartphones and uploading and downloading all that stuff. Um, so they would probably need some help with getting everything printed off. And that would probably be a whole nother issue because how you do that down. Anyway. If you have smartphones, you're good. Well, we were fine. So that was my experience traveling during the pandemic and um, how, how I felt about it. Yep. Thanks. Talk to you guys later. Bye.